Located on a hill high above the Swiss town of Vevey is Chaplin's World, the home where Charlie Chaplin lived out the last years of his life. Further inside, you get to relive many aspects of Chaplin's life. Upon entering his house, you are greeted by the great man himself. The mansion is intact and the original furniture on display. You can just imagine how many great conversations were had around that dining table. Further inside, you get to relive many aspects of Chaplin's life. With wife Una and family, he loved to watch movies in his home theatre. And his whimsy is recreated throughout the house. His many friends included Sophia Loren and the great Albert Einstein. As well as the house, Chaplin's World includes a recreation of the Chaplin movie studio. This was the surprise that I was not expecting. You enter into a circus ring where you are welcomed by your animatronic host before entering the studio to see many of Chaplin's sets. Chaplin also pays tribute to other great silent movie comedy geniuses such as Laurel and Hardy, Buster Keaton and Harold Lloyd. Chaplin's World is an interactive experience and visitors are encouraged to don costumes and to take part in many of the scenes. I left Chaplin's World invigorated by the fun that I had there. The Vey is located on Lake Geneva, a short train ride from Montreux, where I was staying. I decided to return by ferry and was fortunate to travel on one of the Belle Epoque fleet of historic paddle steamboats, which truly fulfilled my journey back in time to a very elegant age. Charlie Chaplin was a genius, and Chaplin's world is a magnificent tribute to his sense of fun.